going to start off by applying Wet n Wild's eye primer just to make sure all the shadows last all day and they apply evenly. Then I'll be taking this powder from Wet n Wild and sweeping it all over my eyelids to prevent the shadows from budging and this way it's easier to blend them all out. Then taking Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. It's a very light orange color. I will be sweeping this into my crease as a transition shade. Then I will be taking Chickadee by Makeup Geek and I will be applying this to the outer corners of my eyes. Taking this into my crease and windshield wiping motions. I will be intensifying and adding more of this color until I get the color desired, which I did want a little bit more orangey. Then I will be moving on to the Morphe 35OM palette and I will be taking this light orange shade and applying this to the outer corners of my eyes just to really intensify that orange since we are focusing on that orangey shade. I'll be taking this all around my crease. Then I'll be taking a light brown shade and applying this to the outer corners of my eyes and also taking it into my crease just to carve it all out and give me some dimension. Then taking my NYX glitter glue, I will be applying this to the very front of my eyes where I will be laying a different color and I will be applying a shimmery orange shade from the BH Cosmetics palette and then I'll be going in with some glitter and this adhesive is so easy to make that glitter stay exactly where we will be placing it. For eyelashes, I will be applying these Ardell Double Wispies in the number 251. And then we'll be moving on to the face. Since I already had my base laid out, I'm just going to start chiseling out my cheekbones. And I did go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer to give my face some dimension. And I'll also be contouring the sides of my nose. Going back to the eyes, I will be taking all the shades we used in our crease onto my lower lash line just to smoke everything out and bring it together. I will be applying this a little lower than usual because it is a Halloween tutorial. I'll be taking the light brown shade and applying this as close to my lash line as possible just to give me doll-like eyes and also some mascara to my bottom lashes. Since I already had my eyebrows filled in, I just went ahead and applied some orange eyeshadow right on top and I did use this from the Morphe 35OM palette and I'll be using this Morphe Rose Gold Eyebrow Brush. And for blush, I will be using the light orange shade in the Morphe 35OM palette and I will be applying a little bit more than usual and taking this a little bit closer to the center of my cheeks and I'll also be taking this around the sides of my nose to bring the look together. To highlight my face and give it more of that frosty look, I will be taking my MAC pigment in the shade Vanilla and placing this around the areas where I would typically highlight, so on the tip of my nose, a little bit on the bridge of my nose, my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, and then I'll be blending it out with the same blush. And I did place this on my brow bone and also on the inner corners of my eyes. Taking some sprinkles to complete this look. I did pick this up at Marshalls, by the way. I will be applying some eyelash glue where I will be placing these little sprinkles just to top off that little pumpkin pie. Wink, wink. <laughs> I'll start placing the sprinkles in random areas. Then I'll be taking this glitter. I actually picked this up at a craft store and I'll be placing this right around the areas where I put those sprinkles and adding a little bit of highlight. Then for my lips, I will be using Over Cosmetics Miami Fever, which was in collaboration with Kathleen Lights and it is my absolute favorite pumpkin color. And to give my lips some frosty look to it, I will be 
placing a little bit of that MAC vanilla pigment right on top. 